hello students so in the last videos we discussed the oxo acids of sulfur and phosphorus the next topic is the interhalogen compound interhalogen compound means each halogen is connected with another halogen it forms a compound is called as a interhalogen compound for example we are going to write clf cl is a a and x is the f so it sometime some books they are given as a x x dash okay in our state board syllabus they are given as a ax and ax3 axy ax7 in cbse they are given as x x dash x x dash and x x dash 3 and x x dash 5 and x x dash 7 okay both are same the symbolic representation may be different if you are the cbse student you can refer this one those who are all preparing for the neat and je you can prefer this one okay so what is the shape of the ax type and ax3 type ax5 type and ax7 type okay so before we are entering into this topic we must be very familiar with a few things that is for the all the halogen the valency electron is 7 so you must remember this one so for the fluorine when you are write once you are writing the fluorine if for once you are writing the f the atomic number is 9 it's a 1s2 2s2 2p5 so it's a 2s2 2p5 for cl it's a 3s2 3p5 so for the bromine so it's a br it's a br it's a 4s2 4p5 so for the i it's a 5s2 5p5 so you must remember this because once you are writing the i means we can't able to write the electronic configuration for full electronic configuration for the i so we must remember that f means is a 2s2 2p5 cl means it's a 3s2 3p5 br means is a 4s2 4p5 i means 5s2 5p5 why it is because as we move from top to bottom the size of an atom is increased by one unit okay so what about that ax type it's a clf so cl is a uh, halogen it's a 17 atomic number once you are writing the electronic configuration is a 3s2 3p5 so one we have only one unpaired electron so we have one halogen so no problem so clf means i am going to take only the valency electron okay so 3s i have 3s and 3p so 3p means 1 2 3 4 5 this is a 3p 3p and we have the fluorine atom so this is the fluorine atom f so cl f containing 1 2 3 4 4 electron pair four electron pair normally four electron pair means it's a tetrahedral but unfortunately here three bond pair so bond pair sorry 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 one bond pair so this is bond pair so this is a lone pair this is lone pair and this is lone pair so one bond pair and three lone pair because of the one bond pair and three lone pair it must be a it must be a linear it must be a linear so three things are very important in ax type the hybridization is sp3 see s box and 3p box so it is a sp3 because of the sp3 only we are saying this one is a tetrahedral shape because of the one bond pair and three lone pair it is become linear so this question is very very important halogen a interhalogen compound ax type must be a sp3 hybridization sp3 containing one bond pair one bond pair and three lone pair it is a linear in shape abinna solluvanga next one when you are coming to ax3 type when you are coming to ax3 type that is a clf3 you can take it example clf3 okay clf3 cl atomic number last electronic configuration it's a 3s2 and 3p5 so in 3s2 so we have two electron and 3p we are having 1 2 3 4 5 5 so five not here so this is a 3s this is 3p after the 3p 1 2 3 4 5 3 d so this is the ground state so we need a three unpaired electron for the f for that reason in the excited state we must shift one electron from this orbit to this orbit so 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव दिस इज थ्री डी एंड दिस इज थ्री पी एंड दिस इज थ्री एस सो सो हेयर इट हैविंग टू इलेक्ट्रॉन नो प्रॉब्लम हेयर इट कंटेन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन नो प्रॉब्लम वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस बॉक्स टू दस बॉक्स सो वन टू थ्री ओके सो वी मेक इट रेडी फॉर थ्री फ्लोरिन एटम सो सी एल एफ थ्री मीन्स सी वन टू थ्री सो द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज एस पी थ्री डी एस पी थ्री डी सो वी हैव फाइव बॉन्ड इट मीन्स वी हैव फाइव बॉन्ड सो आउट ऑफ फाइव बॉन्ड थ्री आउट ऑफ फाइव बॉन्ड वन टू लोन पैर टू लोन पैर एंड सी वन टू थ्री थ्री बॉन्ड पैर टू लोन पैर एंड थ्री बॉन्ड पैर द मॉलिकुल इज ए टी शेप मॉलिकुल इज ए टी शेप हाउ दिस वन लुक एट दिस सी एल वन एफ इज एयर वन एफ इज एयर एंड अदर एफ इज एयर सो दिस इज अ थ्री बॉन्ड पैर एंड दिस टू कंसिडर एस ए लोन पैर नॉर्मली एस पी थ्री डी मीन्स ट्राइगोनल बाई प्रमिडल सो बिकॉज ऑफ द लोन पैर इट इज बेस ए टी शेप टी शेप मीन्स लाइक दिस इट्स ए टी शेप T shape. So, so why we are not getting a x two? Because once you are shifting the electron from here to here, means we can get three unpaired electron. If it is a a x five, means I can shift the electron from here to here. If I have seven, means I can shift the electron from here to there. Abdina Sarun. Okay. In our state board book, they are given this information. C l f three. <coughs> Hybridization is a s p three d. sp3 d so it is a two lone pair and three bond pair the geometry is a t shaped geometry is a t shaped so next one in the ax5 type ax5 type means you can take any example for the ax5 type for example if5 if5 in ix5 so i electronic configuration so look at this 5s2 5p5 so it's a 5s2 5p5 so i it's a 5s 1 2 3 four, 5 5 electron it's a 5p One, two, three, four, five. It's a five D. So we need this is in the ground state. We have five. We we need five unpaired electron. So I can shift the here from here and from here. So once I've shifted, I will get. So this is two electron. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. I got this five unpaired electron. So here one F, another F, another F. <coughs> Next F, next F. So in I F five we have one lone pair and five bond pair. So one two three four five. So it must be a octahedral. It must be a octahedral because it contains six electron pair. It contains six electron pair means one must be a octahedral. Okay. So I must be in the center. One two three four five. So this is a F. And this one is a lone pair. So geometry is sp three d two. It is a sp three d two. Sp three d two. It is a square pyramidal. Square pyramidal shape. Square pyramidal shape. How to find out? Very short manner. Very short manner. So here five bonds are there. Okay. So five bond pair means five bond pair. So one, two, three, four, five, and get three one lone pair. Okay, one lone pair because the valency electron for I is seven. Out of seven, five is involved in the bonding, so one must be the lone pair. Okay, that is the shortest method. It is a sp three d two. So next one in the ax seven type, we can find directly ax five type, ax seven type. We have an example. It is a if seven. So if seven means what? We all the seven valency electrons are involved in the bonding. So seven means look at this. Seven means Yes, P one, P two, P three, D one, D two, D three. So it is a yes, P three, D three. It is a pentagonal bipyramidal. Pentagonal bi 
square meter so this is a geometry so pentagon ring this is a pentagon so it is a high 1 2 3 4 5 so f f f f f so top one and down one so this is the geometry of the ax7 ax7 type